This lesson is titled Dot Wars, Adding and Subtracting Integers. One of the things that I've noticed in teaching is that students don't find the concepts all that difficult. One of the things that students do find difficult is keeping the rules straight, especially when there's one set of rules for adding and subtracting and another set of rules for multiplying and dividing. They start confusing those. And so this is where dot wars came from. I needed to come up with a way that um, would help my students make sense of the concept, but also give them something where they can keep the rules separate um, with the adding and subtracting from the multiplying and dividing. So before we get started, there's a couple of things. First of all, you want to click on the link that shows you where to get the handout. So you can print that out and take notes because it's the same exact one that you'll see in the video. Um, you're also going to want to have either colored pencils, markers, crayons, something in two different colors. I think markers are the best. You're going to be making some dots and markers just make that really easy. So pause the video, go ahead and get those things if you don't already have them. All right, let's see if I can get my mouse. There we go. So this is the handout. Again, it's available online at the math box. And we're going to jump right in with this, with the actual math problems that you see. Don't worry about filling in the blanks up on the top. We'll do that in just a little bit. So let me make sure I've got uh, the colors that I want here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your markers and you're going to decide on colors, two different colors. I like to use red for the negative. And let me, I want to get like a fatter pen here. There we go. Okay, I like to use red for my negative color and I like to use green for positive. It's just, you know, it kind of makes sense. Red is stop, green is go, stop is negative. You get what I'm saying. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at this first problem and we're going to use dots to represent the numbers. Since I already have my green pen, I'm going to start with a positive 5. Notice I'm using green for positive, and I'm drawing 5 dots. And I'm going to use red for negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have two different signs, and what happens when the signs are opposite of each other, positive and negative, the dots are going to go to war. And this is what it looks like. Positives and negatives cancel each other out. So that if you have a negative 8 plus a positive 5, you're going to have this war where some of them die. Now, notice what's left. There's three dots left. They are red, so that means that they're negative. And the answer is negative 3. I like this method a whole lot better than number line. I think this one just makes a lot, of, a lot more sense. Let's look at it again. This time let's do a positive 8 and a negative 5. This time I've got my red pen already. 3, 4, 5. 5 negatives and 8 positives. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because the colors are different, they are going to go to war. Positives and negatives kill each other. Look at what's left. There's three left, but this time it's the positives who won, so the answer is a positive three. Now I want to point out something, and this is going to really come in handy, so make sure you write this down. It's called zero pairs. When you have a positive and a negative canceling each other out, they become a zero. And so we're going to call that a zero pair. And you'll see in a little bit how handy it can be to look for zero pairs. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's take a moment to fill in the blanks up above on one thing here. It says if the signs are different, this is what you're going to fill in, they wipe each other out so you end up subtracting. And this is one of the things that makes math a little bit difficult is uh, you're adding, but you end up subtracting. 
So with these positive and negative numbers, if the signs are different, they end up subtracting. And you keep the sign of the winner. In other words, the one that had the most dots. So if we come back over here at this problem and we look at this, the winner in this case was negative, so we would keep that sign. All right, let's look at another couple of examples here. And I think you're going to notice what's different about this is that both of the signs are the same on this one. So let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Aha! These are the same color. Now, if you were in a, a battle, and let's say it's paintball or even a, a water balloon fight, if you're on teams, you're not going to shoot one of your own teammates. Well, that's what happens here. They don't go to war, they go together. If there's 8 and there's 5, 8 and 5 is 13. And they don't change sides. It's 13 red, so it's a negative 13. And again, here's where the confusion comes in. In multiplying, two negatives would make a positive. But here, two negatives are a negative. And this is where some of the confusion sets in. And this is where I think dot wars really works out very nicely. Because if the signs are the same, you keep that sign. And we'll fill in that blank up above in a minute. And then again, here it is, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, here the signs are the same, so they don't go to war, they go together. So let's fill in those other blanks up on the top. If the signs are the same, they join forces, so you end up just adding. When the signs are different, you subtract and keep the sign of the winner. All right, we're going to move on to subtraction in just a moment. Before we do, we're going to take a short little detour. And you're going to think, why is she talking about this? But you'll see in a moment. This is a little piece of Americana. Back in, uh, in my grandparents' day, or my parents' day when they were children, there was a company called Burma Shave, and Burma Shave was for um, shaving lotion, aftershave lotion, I don't know what it was, but they had the most wonderful advertisements they put on the side of the road, and these signs, you would pass them as you were driving. Look at the one on the left. Big mistake, many make, rely on horn instead of brake. Burma Shave, and that last sign would always be a Burma Shave sign. Look at this one. Written, excuse me, within this veil of toil and sin, your head grows bald, but not your chin. Use Burma Shave. So let's make the connection here. Why do I have this little thing about Burma Shave? Well, first of all, it's just cool. I think Burma Shave signs are just such a cool thing that, um, you know, I've actually seen some signs, and I think it's just people putting up the signs themselves because they're very nostalgic about it and really enjoy it. Okay, my scroll bar has a really hard time keeping up when I'm recording because it puts a lot of uh, stress on my computer. Okay, so why the Burma Shave sign? Well, take a look here. We're going to fill in the top two blanks. When subtracting, you will crash. If you don't, slash and dash. When subtracting, you will crash. If you don't, slash and dash. And you can even write Burma Shave. Make your own little Burma Shave sign. So that's why we looked at Burma Shave. Slash and dash is something that you absolutely must remember when you are subtracting with integers. And even just if you're doing it with positive and negative, or just positive numbers, you can still do slash and dash. So let's take a look at what slash and dash is all about. With slash and dash, what you're going to do is you're going to change the subtraction sign to an addition sign. So there's the slash. But it's always, always, always two moves with your pencil. After you do the slash move, then you're going to do the dash. And the dash is going to turn the number that follows the minus sign into its opposite. Let's take a look at the next example to help you to see it again. Slash and dash. 
it was a negative 3, now it's a positive 3. It became its opposite. Slash and dash on the next one. Notice that I did not change the first number in each of these problems. It's always the one that comes after the minus sign. And again, slash and dash. Now if you look at all of these problems, they are no longer subtraction problems, they are addition problems. So we can go ahead and do our dot wars. So let's take a look. I've got a need red here because the first problem, they're both negative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. If they're the same color, they don't go to war, they go together. 7 plus 3 is 10. And because they're both the same color, they're both red, this sign is going to stay negative. How about the next problem? Positive 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a positive 3. 1, 2, 3. They're the same color, so they don't go to war. They go together. A positive 10. The next problem, oops, why did it go there? One, two, three, three positives. One, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven negatives. Okay, they are different colors, so we're going to go to war. And basically what we're doing is subtracting seven, take away three. That leaves us with four negatives. So the answer is negative four. Now take a look at this last problem. And I'm going to erase the slash and dash for a moment. You don't have to. You can just leave it. But I want you to notice something here. And it's going to relate to um, the next couple of blanks that we need to fill in. Seven minus three. Okay, you've been told that minus is take away. You're taking away stuff. Well, we're going to give you a new definition of subtraction. It's kind of weird. You're saying that subtraction is adding. It's adding the opposite. Now, you already know that 7 minus 3 is 4. Let's look at it with this new definition. Adding the opposite. Do you see how it's slash and dash? And hopefully by now you're getting pretty good at this. You don't even really need to draw the dots, but if you want to, you can. We've got a negative 3 and a positive 7. Come on, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because they are different, they are going to go to war. There's four dots left over, and the winner was the positive. And a math way of saying this is that the number with the greatest absolute value was the positive number, so it's a positive four. Now we're going to pause or stop the video here because of the limits on YouTube recordings, and the second page will be covered in the next video.